Okay, I have to reshoot the intro because it was really loud while we were in the shop. But I have been asked a number of times over the last 25 years, how do you assure that your QCT measurements are reliable when you have any doubts about what you're looking at? And this video is about that and about how to test it. And so it would be kind of dramatic. It should really show you how reliable our system is. And it'll start with how you mount the system to the tire, which uses a strap, which I get is not the same as a wheel clamp. It's a different method of mounting, but I think we'll, you'll see here in just a second how reliable that can actually be. Right. As you've got the system in your hands, and you're holding it just by the system and the strap, place up against the tire, loop the strap across the back side of the tire, run your hands down the face of the tire until the side on the, the outside is at the 9 and 3 position, or as close as you can get to it. And that's tight. That means that as you can see, the system is held tight to the tire. If you didn't do that, if you only had it up to, uh, let's say, 1 and 11, you notice it's not held tight at all. This is not a properly mounted system. It's got to be held tight. And the further it comes down the side of the tire, the more action you get when you pull the elbow away until finally you get to this nine and three, and boy, that's tight. So let's go ahead and check what our measurement is there. Now, if we have a toe measurement, I've got one eighth of an inch. <coughs> I've got one eighth of an inch toe in. And over here, for the first measurement, we got right about four and a quarter inches. Go ahead and look at that. Up four and a quarter. All right. <clears throat> now, if you, if you want to get confidence in this, you're going to have to take it off, put it on, and get those same measurements again. So take it off, take the system completely off, hold it back on here. I'm at nine and three again. Reset the toe. Right there, it's at one eighth of an inch again. Check the thrust. Yeah, it's right about four and a quarter again. So I've got a repeatable measurement there, just by taking it out and putting it back on. But how do I know that the system is holding calibration? Well, then you get into what we call the slam test. You're supposed to do this with your QCT. Take it away from the tire and slam it against it. Now, if you can do that and repeat your measurement, we've got again, four and a quarter on this side. It's on the line, and it's an eighth of an inch towed in. So again, uh, repeatability. This is confidence building. You're supposed to be able to have confidence in your equipment. You do that on both sides, and if you can hold this, you can repeat the same measurement based on how you put the strap on and based on how you slam the, tire, the system into the tire and reset it, you can have confidence that the measurement you're taking is correct. Okay. So here we're talking about thrust calibration if you don't have the cabinet that's in the QCT video, which we don't make any. So let's say we have here a typical shop cart with a typical, you can see it's a gouge dented plastic cover. Is this a proper calibration surface? Well, there's a way to test and find out. 
I have to do is have to hold the, the two horizontal bars down and slide them side to side on the surface and make sure that the laser stays steady. If they do, then your calibration surface is valid. And once you've got them set, then you just want to make sure that both lasers are the same height off the floor. Now you notice I didn't check whether or not this is level. I didn't check whether or not uh, this is the same height as the lasers are up on the wall over there. I don't care about any of that. All I care about is do both of these lasers point toward and away from the calibration surface equally. If they do, they're pointing toward or away from this axle equally. And that means it's a calibrated system. So up there on the wall, I've got two lasers. They're both at the same height. They're both next to each other, as you can see here. And when we do our slam test like we did on the tires, that one stayed right where it's supposed to be. And so did this one. So we've got a perfectly calibrated, stable, consistent system. You should be able to have confidence in your calibration just like that every time you do an alignment.